Prologue. Three Houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the Officers Academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm going to do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The Academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. Some are noble born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof, so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Lester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. So you wish to join Edelgard's Black Eagles. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. 
Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me, or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far, but what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Ugh! Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes. I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? 
Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say, I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The Chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Prof. Oh, he's gone. So it would seem. Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I. I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, Professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. Well, the less you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor, wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? <laughs> bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. 
Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Caspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seemed suspicious. You are something else, Caspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire. But that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either. And they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes! I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. Right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We should hold off for now. Huh. I hadn't pegged you as the cautious type, but maybe that's what we need. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Huh? Hey! We got intruders! You must be a bad guy if you're pointing a weapon at me. Get ready to pay! I shall never back down! You got my back? You may trust in me! A pack of thieves is no match for us. Though I do wish they had used time to get us me. Careful. Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. To kill to open the gate. Out of the way! Sorry, everyone. I tried to stop them. Let's secure the interior. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up! All of these dead bodies are enough to numb the senses. Let's do this! Is 
that a treasure chest? Hmm. Yes. It seems we will need a key to open it. Ugh. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. Now those intruders are all over the thing. It's not over. That bandit appears to be holding the key. Out of the way! no better inside the fortress than it was on the outside. I can't take this anymore! I want to go home! I've got this! Time for you! Not what we signed up for. the bandit hideout. Unless something else concerns you, Professor. Search the basement. Something is amiss. Hey, there's a prisoner down here. She looks like an academy student. can wait. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl. I've got Earl and Ron. It falls upon us to keep her safe. No matter the cost. Still here. Take this. Alright, 
I cherished my beautiful stronghold. We've got a... Hi there. I'm Kranya. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. It's her. So be it. Kill her. That's the last one. If you truly are Kranya, then it is you who will die this day. Good. Then we can proceed as planned. at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. That snake escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. What to say, except... Thank you, everyone. How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a Black Eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. 
Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Eureka's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try Remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I... um... thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas, the librarian. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had a tough... Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mok for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the Church. The Knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive. So we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? 
Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he has been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? He meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So, this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes, you were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Uh, you're right! Everyone, pipe down! Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think Tomas is here. I, uh, I'll be right back. Wait, we should discuss this before you... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? <laughs> did was just like prologue the shadows of adrestia upon his return to garrig mock the humble tomas shapeshifts and flees and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one, the Church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. 
And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard. As ever. Then let us walk forward on this path, and see where it takes us. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Enbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Mach for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendel. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire, with the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the Church. Very well. I will summon the Knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the Goddess watch over you all.
Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shape-shifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, there you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital. But I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have... Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. If you please. It's you. In essence... Don't let me down. If I may. Let's see... <laughs> your thoughts. If you will, do you have a moment? Huh? Agree. 
Need something? Handle it, will ya? You should hear this. So basically... What's going on? How may I help you? My word is a bond. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. What do you think? Solon's been unmasked. Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. First Kranya's debacle and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleopolis is informed. Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. Yes? Lord Regent, I have urgent tidings to report. You may enter. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Oh. Do you think... There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? They may already be within the palace walls. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on the spot. Yes, my lord. Her Highness has given the signal, Valdemar. Already? I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mark, after all. I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her competence. Well, if she's caught us with our breaches down, imagine how they feel. I can't wait to see the confused look on those dastards' faces. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee-deep in gore with all the rest. Which means, I'll have to make it clear where I stand. 
We can't afford to tear the ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. These are your instructions. I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Enbar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor and flock with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. You realize it's just us, right, Adi? That sounds kind of... impossible. Still, the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside the palace. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you. I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. Just you watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. So here we are, ready to deal a master stroke to the heart of the mighty Empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. We'll infiltrate the palace through the rear gate, then apprehend Lord Arendelle and Duke Iyer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter along the way. If that is our plan, then time cannot be wasted. You can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. Lead the way, your highness. Oh, and make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. You know every square inch of that place, after all. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run of my house for too long. Today, I take it all back! It was easy enough slipping in the back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. In that case, we'd best find and apprehend Duke Iyer and Lord Arenda before they grow wise to our scheme. Duke Iyer should be in the throne room. We'll enter through the back way. Yes, that way he will never see our coming. But we must hurry. The guards along the way are in Duke Iyer's power. So deal with them as you must. Surrender, Duke Iyer. What in the... No! Seal the gate now! Well, this complicates things. We'll have to cut around through the gardens. Send soldiers to the gardens! I won't ask... Sword on every path between myself and those rats. The man is so desperate he doesn't realize he's already lost. So let us break through and prove it to him. Aiden, yeah. no offense, but what's to stop him from running away? Oh, I already solved that particular problem.
The time has come, ministers. Show the Duke your true allegiance lies with the Empire. Apologies, Ludwig, but if you want to leave, it'll have to be through me. And if you want back in, you must go through me. Although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates. You would turn on me now. Preposterous. Wait. So those are the nobles you won over? Where'd you find the time to orchestrate that? How do we have two guys in I just couldn't be so Out of the way! No! You're still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it is! I've got it! It's finished, Prime Minister. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. Use the fire orbs! I don't care if you bring the palace down around us! Just do it! They're shooting at us? We should probably do something about that. The ambitions of Ludwig von Eyre won't be broken. Gotta keep it by the likes of you. How can this be? I have riches, power. I am as great as a man can be. Well done, everyone. That just leaves Lord Arryn. Yes, but he is the one we need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. Duke Iron has been captured already. <laughs> I've got it. The wretch didn't even have the grace to buy me some time. Well, I have little interest in facing birth. So it's time for me to declare my wife. Out of the way! Dark magic. Find the casters and strike them down so we might dispel this sorcery. Voldemar, you and I can split up and sweep the palace. A fine idea, Leopold. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. I'm afraid to consider how we'd stand without those two on our side. Stop those fire orbs from, well, firing. The mages. These are definitely the same people who kidnapped me. Yeah. <laughs> 
You people are all magic and no muscle. I'll snap you like two. I've got wings. You know, it may benefit us to learn more about this dark magic. The barrier should disappear now. I've got... That still didn't stop them. It seems they came prepared for any eventuality. Quickly now! We need to reach Lord Arendelle before he slips through our fingers. Any who sided with Duke Iyer or Lord Arendelle and oppressed her highness will receive no quarter from us. Hubert, you finally said something I like. Now let's go stamp them out. Wretched vermin. I admire your tenacity. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrifying I can be. Which is why you must die. Lady Edelgard chooses to abide your existence no longer. takes care of the cleanup. I think Her Highness should be very pleased with me indeed. Whether or not she is pleased with you should be of secondary concern. The most important matter is what benefits Lady Edelgard. You are... No. Sorry. What? Are you starting to understand the situation you're in? No, I have to act.
I know when I am bested. We are the darkness itself, and the darkness cannot be slain. <sighs> he escaped. <sighs> Cowardly of him, but we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, now what? Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together like that. A commendable victory, Lady Edelgard. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kranya and Tomas, since he shapeshifted and all. Yes. They are all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlan from the shadows. Those who slither in the dark. Huh. Never heard of them. Hmm. So, what is the plan now, Your Highness? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. At once, Your Highness. Oh, this is wonderful! Your Highness is going to become Your Majesty! Yes, but first I must speak with the Minister of Domestic Affairs, as well as the other Counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Saros. I wasn't expecting all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We demand an explanation. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with me first? I'm probably not getting the finer points here. But you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's, is that right? I wasn't fighting your father, Kaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevering. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us all through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go.